Hi, it's Scott from Pacific Automation here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to take you through how to set up the USB drivers for a Lumal programming cable. Uh, I'm using the PD14, um, but the PD10 and N21 displays also use the same process. Uh, so this, uh, this should work for you as well if you're using those devices. Uh, okay, the first thing we need to do is download the USB driver. Uh, I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. Uh, if you do find that link is broken at any stage, please just leave a comment for us uh, and we'll make sure we get that link updated straight away for you. So here we are on the Luma website and here's the USB driver we need. Um, and you can see it suits the PD10, PD12, PD14, PD22 and others. Uh, and there's a version for Windows 8 and Windows 10 and a version for Windows XP and Windows 7 if you've got an older computer. Uh, I've gone ahead and downloaded the USB driver here for Windows 10. Uh, and I save it. To, I like to save it to my desktop because it just makes it easy to find. So you can see that uh, hiding up here. I've already unzipped that file, that uh, that zip file, and have the folder here. If you need to do that, just right-click on the file and extract all, and that'll take you through the uh, through the process. Okay. The next thing we need to do is open Device Manager. Uh, you can access Devi Device Manager in a couple of ways. Uh, the simplest way is to right-click on your Start button and Device Manager is here, about the, the sixth one down from the top. So open that up, and then you'll get to this box here. So next step is to plug in your programming cable to a USB port. Uh, when you do that, uh, Device Manager will recognize a new device has been added and pop up. And you can see here I've got my PD14 showing. What you need to do, you'll see it's got a little yellow triangle on it, which means it hasn't been in, the drivers haven't been installed. So just right-click on that and Update Driver. Uh, you're going to want to browse your computer manually for the drivers, and you need to navigate to the folder that you um, that you just extracted from the uh, from the download. So as I said, I like to keep mine on the desktop. It makes it really easy to find. So I've got that there. So select that folder and click OK, uh, and then it's just click Next. It's going to install that first driver and close. It'll refresh, and you actually need to do this twice. So just right click on that USB serial port and update driver, browse my computer, it remembers the folder location, click next again, and close. And that's it, You're, you've now installed the driver and you can see that the PD14 is now existing on my system as COM3. Uh, and that's it, you'll have the same process uh, for any of the other Lumal programming cables. Uh, and as always, if you do have any dramas, you can give us a call for Pacific Automation. And we'll be happy